PowerHJ 7.4 introduces automated management of the administrative domain, continuing to reduce time and effort required to ensure you are always ready for a role swap. Let's take a look. To create an administrative domain, we use the create CAD command. We simply give a name for our administrative domain, and you'll notice a new option when creating the administrative domain, configure policies. These policies are what enable the automated management of the administrative domain. For new users, we'll configure recommended policies that you can change later. For existing users who upgrade, you can add the policies that fit your needs. We can take a look at the policies by either using the work HA policy command or going through our menu to work with HA policies. We have a group of policies related to the administrative domain that I'm going to work with. The first group of policies, QCST AD Create, specifies that when resources of a particular type are created in my environment, they will be automatically added to the admin domain and synchronized across nodes. Here, we have policies specified to automatically add a number of different resource types automatically, and we could add additional ones as needed. The second policy, QCST AD Delete, specifies that when a resource is deleted, it is automatically removed from all the nodes in the environment, helping ensure a safe and secure environment. The third policy, QCST AD Restore, specifies when a resource in the admin domain is restored to a node, the restored resource values are also propagated across the environment. Populating the admin domain continues to become easier and easier. I'm going to add all user profiles on my production node to the admin domain. PowerHA automatically finds all of the user profiles not already in the admin domain, presents me with a confirmation panel, and enables me to add all of them, all with a single command. Now that my admin domain is set up, let's see these automated management policies in action. I'm going to create a user profile, A123. But before I do, let's make sure it doesn't exist on any of my systems. We can see it doesn't exist in my production node. When I switch over to my HA node, we can also see it doesn't exist over there. I'm now creating a new user, A123, just as I would if I did not have PowerHA. Let's take a look at the resources in our admin domain by going to work clue and then work with our admin domains and work with the resources. We can see that we now have A123 already monitored and consistent across our administrative domain. Let's go look at our HA node. We can see that we now have A123 on this node as well. So what happens when A123 leaves our company? Let's delete A123 right now. And then let's look at the resources again in our administrative domain. And what we see is that A123 is no longer in our administrative domain. It was automatically removed. When we go over to our HA node, we also see that A123 is no longer there. It was automatically deleted. This is simply one more example of how PowerHA continues to simplify and automate your high availability environment. This is all made possible by our core focus at Help Systems, security and automation solutions, with a complete family of integrated enterprise class solutions for IBM I, from HA to automation to BI, along with solutions for all platforms across your enterprise, including Windows, Unix, Linux, and supporting infrastructure that is on-prem, in the cloud, and hybrid cloud environments. Let us help you build a better IT.